All right, so since we got you here, how's the game going? The game's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it does look really awesome. It's, <laughs> it's insane. You know, um, I've, of course, gone through the game myself, not only as a player, but gone through the fighting game. It's so hard to encapsulate what's going on in that cage and to get people to appreciate and to feel it. Um, and the submission battles, all the training, the people you have around you, the personalization, it feels like you're going on this journey. And then the technical stuff is spot on. Like all the flows are correct. You know, the guard flows, the mount flows, all the submissions go from, from the right move to the right move and the right angle. So from a, from a fighter standpoint, watching it from a fighter standpoint, it's very pleasing. Well, now you're also doing some announcing this as well. Some yeah. Local talent, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a commentator too. <laughs> so how, how's that working out for you? Uh, well, I, I mean, I love it. It's, it's a challenging job. Um, you stick in the sound booth for like hours on end? Yeah, or? I mean, I like the live events a lot better because I get to yell at people and um, the sound booth's a little more challenging because you have to be a little more focused. Um, you know, we added so much into the game to personalize and allow you to participate. Uh, not only historical data, if you're fighting a guy that fought a guy 10 years ago, we know about it, we're talking about it. Right. So we bring the history into that moment, allow you to participate into it. and that's. You know, that's what it's all about. That's about. Yeah, and Frank's really touching on it. So in career mode, it's about that personal history, like I said, how you won your different, you know, if you won fights by submission or TKO or what your style is. You, if you go learn, um, you know, you learn the diving punch when a guy's on the ground from Pat Miletic, Frank and Mora are going to call that out when you execute that punch. So they're very aware of it. And some of the best moments we have is getting those two guys in the booth together and just letting them, you know, here's a scenario and let them, let them talk about it and go go uh, go with their commentary and, and really just say, all right, here's a moment. How would you discuss that? Um, you just saw uh, my creative fighter right there. Go went to show respect, but the the AI fighter had none of that. <laughs> so sometimes they'll respect you. Some of the times they'll back out of there. Um, it's pushed up against the ropes here. My fighter's not exactly the best at at fighting against ropes, and I'm a started off as a kickboxer, but I can evolve my fighter into a ground fighter. And, uh, you know, talking with Frank and, and the other guys, one of the goals was that not everybody's coming out of there with a maxed out fighter. Because we want you to take these guys online mm -hmm. and fight with them, but have different skill sets and what they bring to it um, as you evolve your fighter and work on your different skills. So how's that work? I mean, I, I can see, obviously, you know, that, like, this venue does not look like top tier venue, obviously. It's kind of like, looks like they put them in a boxing ring as opposed to, you know, getting the fence up there or anything like that. What about, like, does that, you know, as you evolve through your career, do the venues, obviously, you get bigger, better, cooler venues and all that other stuff, or how does that change along the way? Yeah, you go just like a young fighter. You start in a small auditorium with uh, no ring entrance, no, no fluff. You get out there and you do your business. As you grow as an athlete, talent, fighter, your venue grows. And then our Premier League is strike force. You can end up there fighting for the champions. Well, all right, so this is one of the early fights, right? Yeah, yeah, so this is actually the middle league. This is United Fighters League. This is one of our English leagues, and it's got unified rules, which is, you know, uh, three rounds of five minutes. Um, elbow strikes on the ground are allowed, but no knees or, or uh, kicks to the head on the ground. And um, so you're going to have these different different things, uh, you know, a part of that with this history and, you know, that Frank touched upon is uh, in your creative fighter, you had a choice. Do you go to the United Fighters League or do you go Vale Tudo in Brazil? Right. We have one round, 20 minutes, everything goes. And the, the beauty of that is, uh, you know, you start that first fight and, and Frank actually talks about Vale Tudo rules because he's been there. He's fought in Brazil and gives you that kind of commentary about it. So, so you really do, so you mix it up. So like, uh, for instance, so I, you, you can't kick somebody in the head in this one? Not on the ground. Not on the That's ground. Cool. No. And, but then, then when you go in the Valley Tudo, obviously you can. Though. Exactly. Yeah. Or if you're cool. in Japan. But in Japan, you're not going to be able to drop those elbows on the ground. Right. So, and, and the scoring changes. So in Valley Tudo, it's one round of 20 minutes. Uh, in Japan, first round's 10 minutes. Second round's five minutes. And it's not a 10-point scoring must system that you're going to have in a strike force or unified. It's going to be the entire match itself is scored. Um, so we want to give you a variety. That means that you can go through career mode and have this path, you know, that takes you to the United Fighters League and maybe to Strike Force, or you can change that the next time, go Volley Tudo and then to Strike Force or to Mystic. Uh, one of the best parts knows. about it is, you know, uh, Frank has held how many head titles you held? How many leagues now? Is that three or four? Four leagues. Four leagues. So here's a great example. Frank, the legend, has held titles in four different leagues. So. If you go end up in Strike Force and you've defended your title five times and you've been successful in your 40th and final fight, we have presentation around that. We have web articles. We have commentary from Frank and from more about. It's actually a, 
a unified fight. So you go fight the title holder of the other top league. If I'm in Strike Force, I go fight the top fighter in the Mystic League, which is Japan. I'm very excited about how we're, we're ending your career. That's super awesome. Now, are we going to get to sneak ahead and see? Do you, have, do you have one later that shows us what it looks like? Yeah, we'll, we'll jump ahead here. And want to go to the big show? Yeah, I do want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to go to the big show. <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking at here is actually we're just loading up a Strike Force venue, and, and you're seeing, you know, we have the flash pots going off and, and the blue lights and the red lights and different things like that. You guys um, get all serious. You got Frank Shamrock. Walking out of here, very serious. He's ready to fight. I look so mean. <laughs> you you kind of do when you come out. He's though. focused when he. You, when you get that focused look on your face, yeah, you kind of come out. It's like looking. half. Jimmy Lennon Jr. calling the action in Strike Force. Mm -hmm. um, if you're fighting in Japanese rule sets, it's Lenny Hart. And if you're not familiar with Lenny Hart, Lenny Hart is the voice of Japan. She was the announcer for Pride, current announcer for Dreamcast. That's that loud. Oh, yeah. You know, screeching, never... incredible voice from Lenny Hart. Uh, great to work with. Um, one of the other parts is, you know, we, we wanted to, again, make it personal to you. So we recorded over 500 first names and last names and 200 nicknames. So your announcers are going to call you out. Uh, and Morrill's going to refer to you during the fight. So, um, is, that, is that like McDonald's in there? Like, do you know? Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. McDonald's <laughs> seems common enough Excellent. that, that <laughs> it's going to be in there. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, you asked about gameplay, and, and really, it's been bringing in the fighters and Big John McCarthy and all these guys that are, have been around the fight game for so long and making sure that we're doing things that are authentic, whether it's grappling, striking, moving, uh, you know, striking and punching. One of the keys from this, the get-go, we said, was, you know, if you lose in, an, in, our, in our game, we want you to know why you lost. Right. No random numbers. So if I'm winding up for that ultimate left hook, and he throws a spinning back fist and pops me right on that chin and I go rigid with the knockout, that's because I deserved it. I was going for the home run, he was going for the home run and he hit me. And just like the submission battles, you know, it's not a button mash, it's not a panic, it's actually a skill based off of my stamina and my, my attributes and then my thumb skills. We want you to know why you lost. Look at these, just, these guys are just banging. They're standing up. Shamrock. Oh, it's not, it's not good. No. No. It's not good. No. Can he survive? Let's <laughs> Let me commentate. Frank's oh, getting his butt kicked oh here. Uh, he needs to get up and do something different. Uh, <laughs> he got the heart of a champion, though. <laughs> okay, let's look him better. Frank, we told you not to just stand there and bang with Scott Smith. You got to go old Frank Shamrock here. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here because I, I know I would keep you guys here all night if I could. Uh, we've seen a lot already, and it, it is gorgeous. Oh, this is towards Stunned. the end of the fight. Yeah, we, we need to stop. Come on, Frank. Right. <laughs> Just trying to get it out. <laughs> Cut away. I like his style here. Uh, but seriously, uh, Jason, Frank, when uh, when is the game coming out? How far away from me getting our hands on this thing? October 19th uh, when it's coming out. We're very excited about that. Um, Look for uh, great online matches immediately. We have uh, online modes that are they're designed from everybody, from quick matches where you can win belts, to fight cards where up to eight people can get together um, and fight in four different fights, and then two other people can even watch. So everybody has headsets. It's a ten-man experience, so you can, you know, create your own fight card and have an incredible time. And then I'm sorry, explain that one more time. How many people online? So and in, you can set up a fight card uh -huh. with you and. Seven of your other friends can have up to four matches. So, so we can do like basically our own tournament online. That's right. And that then awesome. two other friends huh? can get on their headsets and you can say you two guys be commentary for this fight or everybody can hear themselves talking. And we know that mode's very exciting because you know, yeah. it's you and your friends hanging out and whether you want to comment on the fight or not, while you're focused fighting, your other the other friends can make comments <laughs> and, and, about it. And the, so literally the people who are not fighting get to watch the fights. That's right. Awesome. All right. Well, cool. Awesome to hear you guys are bringing new cool things to the, to the space. Super, super appreciate meeting you, sir. It was awesome to have you here. Thanks for having us, Jason. Bro. Thanks for having yeah, us. Totally we appreciate it. It was really awesome. So the game is uh, EA Sports MMA, and it is coming, what, October? October 19th. October 19th.